The views and opinions provided on this show are for informational purposes only and should not be misinterpreted as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, please go to PassiveInvestorShow.com. Hey, PI listeners, this is John Fortes. I'm making it a point to speak to as many investors as possible. My goal is to position myself to be a blessing to my network through conversation. How could one be a blessing through conversation? The easy answer is by listening. A simple conversation can open many opportunities and doors. I always ask myself this, what do I have to lose by having one more conversation? Going back to high school, I've connected friends and family in my network to one another, even if it didn't benefit me. And I continue those same principles and practices. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. If I can't help you, I probably know someone or something that can probably solve your problem. I'd love for you to become a part of that network. Go to www.johnfortes.com, create your investor profile, and schedule a call. How can I best serve you through conversation? In the words of Clarence the Angel from It's a Wonderful Life, no man is a failure who has friends. And now, The Passive Investor Show. Here's your host, John Fortes. Welcome, PI listeners, to The Passive Investor Show. I'm the Passive Investor Consultant, John Fortes, your host of the only ranked podcast for passive investors in multifamily syndications and real estate funds. Our goal and purpose of this show is to be a resource to investors and help them master their passive investments by beating inflation 1% at a time. Welcome back, PI listeners to another edition of the Passive Investor Show. And we normally hit on topics of the good things, the, the positives, and I like to remain thing, keep things positive. But today I'm gonna focus the conversation on types of positions and scenarios you don't wanna put yourself in when you're investing in apartments. Whether you're investing in small apartments or big apartments, this strategy is useful for all. For one, never, ever buy for appreciation. A lot of people were buying in 2008 or prior to 2008 for appreciation. And, and that's, that was the majority with uh, single family homes. So don't get caught in that bubble right there. Don't buy for appreciation. Two, don't over leverage. Don't, don't get more debt than you actually need. So if you can bring 30% to the table, bring 30% to the table. Have your business plan to be able to get that 30% back out, but obviously don't over leverage. And another thing is don't ever put yourself in a position to sell. How do you do that? You run out of money because your, your business plan, you didn't compensate for enough uh, capital up front to turn over units efficiently. Maybe the due diligence was poorly done and you didn't calculate properly your, your, your rehab budget. You want to make sure you don't run out of capital during that. And for instance, if you do, you'll be in a position to have to make a decision to sell or find another means to get capital. So those are the three things. Don't buy for appreciation. Don't be over leveraged. And lastly, do not put yourself in a position to sell. So I know we talk on, we always talk on good things, but those are the bad things you want to stay away from. And that'll work in all facets of uh, real estate investing, whether you're single family or even multifamily, self-storage, anything, anything real estate, pretty much keep that in mind. So appreciate you listening. Don't forget to download your free copy of the investment tracker. It allows you to track up to five investments, compare sponsors, markets, and most importantly, projected versus actual returns. To get your copy, go to www.projectedreturns.com. PI listeners, thank you for listening. As always, we hope this was the best resource for your investment strategy, but also the best use of your time. Remember, if this episode helps you, you can help us by leaving a review on iTunes. I hope you feel compelled enough to share it with someone you think this would resonate with as well. As much as it pains us to leave you, but you know what time it is. Time to go put this into practice till the next time we meet. Happy investing. PI listeners, I'm grateful for your time and I appreciate you for listening. It would mean the world to me if you went to iTunes and left a rating and written review. 
let me know how you feel about the show. It really makes a big difference with getting the podcast out there. Don't forget about our Facebook group, where all of our guests are members of. I'll be there to answer any of your questions, or even questions you might have for future guests. Subscribe so you can get the latest episodes and our fan favorite quick hitters. Finally, I want to keep you updated, so head over to johnfortes.com and sign up for the newsletter. If you're interested in partnering with me, sign up on the contact page so you can talk to me directly. I look forward to connecting with you. Happy investing.